What's up, you guys? Long time no see. At least it feels like it's been a long time. It's been probably a week or so since I did a full video. Let me go get these out of my ear real quick. Never record with your headphones on unless you're using it for a mic. And what I have for you guys today is gonna to be a list of office-friendly inoffensive fragrances. Now that I'm back working in the office setting, each one of these fragrances are gonna see a fair bit of wear from me. They are clean, inoffensive, and for the most part, they're unisex. So if you're a girl watching this and you want something that's gonna be nice for an office setting, pretty much each one of these can be worn by both a guy and a girl. But before I get into that list, I do have a little unboxing that I can see possibly kind of falling in line with the rest of this list, but it's right here. It's called Tommy Now Them. This is one of the new releases from the House of Tommy Bahama, or this is one of the new releases from the House of Tommy Hilfiger. I couldn't really find anything online about it in terms of Fragrantica. They have a brief write-up on the website. I found this at a rack store for $34.99. So for 35 bucks, I got a 100 ml of this fragrance. So let's go ahead and get this thing open real quick. So the box is open now, you'll see that it says Tommy, Now, and Them down here at the bottom with the 3.44 ounces, 100 ml right there. Nothing but these stripes on the side here and on the bottom you have your barcode and where it's bottled and I believe the bass code right there above it. Then you open the box and this is the bottle that you get. So right here you'll see it's a very sleek matte red finish there. I also like, like it quite a bit. Bottle here, same design that's on the side of the box there, but it is a nice little sticker here. It's not uh, indented into the actual bottle itself. And on the top here, you'll see Tommy across the top there as well. On the bottom, you'll see just some more information, including the batch code right there. And that is an EDT concentration. Cap off there. It's a pretty cheap cap. It's, yeah, it's pretty, I could bend it with my fingers if I wanted to. Big old atomizer there. And a fairly large atomizer there, but let's see how this thing sprays. Decent atom, ooh. Ooh, that's, okay. So right off the top, you get a very fresh, brisk opening. There's definitely like a spice that's there too. It's heavy on the cashmere. I believe online it said that there's cashmere and cardamom that are in this. Those are two of the dominant notes I have there. But along with that, there's definitely some fresh, like fresh citruses that are there. I don't know. I'll say this is actually might be leaning a bit masculine. There do appear to be some sort of citrus that's there underneath. But the cardamom and the citrus, maybe it's like a, like a tangerine or an orange, accompanied with that cashmere right in the opening at least. This would absolutely fall in line with this list. This would be a really hard fragrance to dislike. And just based off this initial, like the, the dry down is like a warm spicy. It's not bad, that's not bad. If you could find this for about 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks, yeah, I'd say pick it up. Especially if you're in the market for something that is inoffensive and you know, for the office. I plan on wearing this one for about five days and I'm gonna bring you guys a full review on it. Again, you guys, that is Tommy Now Them. Kind of wait for them to put out Tommy Now What? You know, just kind of like, oh, now what? You know? But, I don't know. But now into the list of fragrances that I plan on wearing in my office, just because they're so inoffensive and so easily worn. The first one I have you guys is gonna be from the House of Commodity. It is Commodity Bergamot. Now, yes, this is a definitely a unisex fragrance as well. It's heavy on the citrus, almost like a citrus peel versus actually like it smell like a, like, a, like a fresh fruit, like a like an orange or anything like that. But accompanied with that, you definitely get some floral nuances that are there. So if you want to smell like fresh cut oranges and say some flowers, while having like a masculine musk that's there too, go something like this. This is one just from my experience that is going to be need to be resprayed. It's not one that's going to last all day. So if you don't mind bringing this along with you, this would be a good one to go with. So like I was saying, with bergamot from Commodity, just think fresh cut oranges with florals with a masculine musk underneath. Dry down is pretty much just gonna be a cool citrus with a touch of masculine musk. The floral is really going throughout the entirety of the fragrance. So let's say that you enjoy bergamot from Commodity, but you want something that has a bit more kick, something that more or less announces you when you walk into a room. <sighs> something that is also undeniably unisex. Florals in this, the citrus that are in this are so much better and is well-rounded and is generally a better received fragrance. That is gonna be Zerzhoff Renaissance. This is such a fantastic office fragrance, not only office, but also you know more or less for spring or for summer. It's classy, it's clean. It's not overly masculine, it's not overly feminine. It just fits in this list perfectly, especially when we're talking more or less about citrus fragrances. I could not make this list without this fragrance. One guys is one of the, this, it has such a dense note breakdown and it develops into such a powerhouse of a fragrance. 
Like if you're a fan of the release from Zerzoff that is Naxos for say winter and the cooler weather months, this could be paired with say your Naxos, have, having that be for the, uh, the, the cooler weather months and this being for warm weather months. It is just a phenomenal, fantastic scent with fantastic performance. This is an eight to 10 hour fragrance right here, guys. This is one that I've noted like numerous times from wearing it work that I did not need to refresh. It just worked. And guys, again, that is Zerzhoff Renaissance. Now the next fragrance that I have for you guys is even one that I said will be, will be primarily for say vacation, but wearing it in the office setting, it's turned to be just a fantastic fragrance for there too. It's sweet, it's masculine. There's a bit of iris that's there that kind of rounds about. This is a flanker to one of the most popular fragrances right now in Fracom. That is the Harf Signature Royale. Like I said, it's sweet, seductive, while maintaining the ability to wear this into a business formal kind of setting. It has the DNA that the Harf Signature is known for, while giving it a bit more play there. It's masculine, it's long lasting, it has that bit of that twist to it that personally for me has brought me in compliments that I think can be attributed to the sweet notes that are in it. Again guys, that is the Harf Signature Royale. And guys, the fourth one I have here to mention to you is gonna be one that is layered with pretty much, pretty much everything I wear. There are a couple that have my collection that I don't you know, layer with this fragrance because I really want to enjoy just that fragrance. But for the most part, this adds a bit of depth to whatever I'm wearing. It adds to the depth, it uh, increases the projection, and the woodiness from this fragrance is, is just seductive, is inviting, it gets the people going. Guys, that is gonna be Molecule 01. Now, a lot of you guys have seen this and heard about it, and a lot of you have said that it doesn't do anything. I was one of those guys that said the same thing. I gave it a second chance and I have really grown to love this fragrance. You can tell by just how much of this I've worn. It's, it complements so many fragrances so well and just works. But if you don't know what this is, it's ISO E Super, a company with some woody nuances. And I have yet to find fragrance that this pairs poorly with. It only works in a positive way. And I would layer this with anything else on this list. But let's say that you're working in an office setting and you want something that's not going to be offensive to literally anyone. While at the same time you want to wear a fragrance for yourself, you want to have some kind of scent to yourself. Something that kind of differentiates you from everybody else. Molecule 1 would be one to go with. It's extremely long lasting, it smells great. Basically what you'll get with this in the air is going to be a musk, it's going to be a certain amount of woodiness accompanied with your natural scent. And hoping you shower, you're going to come across with a very great scent here. Again you guys, that is Molecule 01. Now next what I have here is gonna be known for being the soapy, the citrus fragrance that is perfect for an office setting. The one that I have here is gonna be mimicking a more expensive fragrance. It has these citrus notes that are there, it has these soapiness that's there, which makes it just an all around perfect office scent. That is going to be Jimmy Choo Man Ice. This is meant to be similar to Dior Om Cologne. I have not smelled that one in a while, but if, if it's anything like this, we we'll say a bit more oomph behind it with a bit more, you know, this more natural smelling fragrance, it'd be awesome. But this one still does it. This one still does a phenomenal job of being that office-friendly, clean, soapy kind of scent. One of the major downsides of this fragrance is that you're gonna need to bring a refresher. This one is not known for its longevity, but it is known for just smelling fantastic. It's just so clean, so fresh, and just, and just inviting. Think clean, fresh, soapy, and inviting. And you need something like Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Not only that, you can get this for a very, very affordable price. I've seen this as low as like $10 at TJ Maxx's. Again, guys, that is Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Now, next on this list, give me one that's a bit newer. It's one that is extremely fruity in the opening, it's extremely uh, just uplifting, it sparkles, it shines. For me, it's been best right out of the shower, kind of going into work and kind of letting the scent settle and develop. Because it does, it kind of opens up with a very bright, sparkling scent, dries back to be still somewhat fruity, but there is a bit of masculine undertones that are there. After a while, it kind of develops into like a sweet, musky scent. It's not overpowering, it's not underpowering. It is just right, guys. That scent is going to be Hugo Boss, the scent Pure Accord. Now, this is not gonna be like the others in our line that are a bit darker, have a bit more depth to them. This is just much better suited for, say, an office setting in a climate controlled environment where you just want to smell fresh, sweet, clean. Then you want to go with something like Pure Accord. It has Menanka fruit, it has a little bit of suede, not so much that you're gonna think is gonna be super masculine. With that said, like some of the others that are on this list, this can lean a bit unisex. But if you're confident in what you're wearing, this one is gonna be a smart reach for you. Again, guys, that is Hugo Boss Scent Pure Accord. Guys, and now the next one I have here is gonna be one that is discontinued, but it is fairly easy to find these. Seeing as last year, a bunch of those frag heads saw that it was being discontinued and went out and bought it. So there are a ton of people selling these in the groups. Think almond and think citrus with this. With that, you're gonna get Lom Ideal Cologne from Garlain. It's so inviting, so nice. What it reminds me of in the opening is, is basically like opening a door um, and you're on vacation and you just get a whiff of fresh air. It's like a breath of fresh air. Like I said, almond, 
citrus, and perfect for the office setting. Mostly because it's not gonna announce you when you walk into a room. But when you're sitting there and you get whiffs of yourself, you're gonna smell pretty damn good wearing this. This is one of the few that I put on that I've never regretted wearing it. Each time that I've worn this, I've had a positive reaction to it. Outside of the initial reaction to this, when I bought it and I was kind of, I was kind of mad by it because it was just so hyped up. It was so, uh, you know, I expected for it to be a loud fragrance. I, you know, I expected for it to be such an overpowering scent just based off, uh, off of the hype behind it. But it turns out this is just a mellow, clean scent. Again, guys, that is Lome Ideal Cologne from Guerlain. Now, kind of staying in line with mellow scents, we're gonna go to a fragrance that's gonna be a bit more niche. It's gonna be one of the best blue fragrances that you can wear, especially in the office setting. You'll be extremely hard pressed to find anyone that doesn't enjoy this scent. Guys, that is gonna go to Elysium from Roger Perfumes. One of the best, if not the best blue fragrance in my collection. I just wish it performed a little better because like some of these in this list, like I said, they don't perform the best and they do need to be reapplied. This is one of them. This is basically a citrus fruit bomb in the opening. And then once it dries down, it gets to be a bit more woody and a bit more masculine. But that dry down, guys, and this is gonna be sitting really close to the skin. Which in some office settings, you want that. You want that fragrance that's, that's gonna be sitting pretty close to the skin. Because you don't wanna be annoying Susan or whoever is across the, the way from you with your fragrance. Again, guys, that is the blue beast that is Roja Elysium. And I couldn't do this list without one of the kings of office fragrances. This one in particular, because this is one that I feel like is the least offensive out of them all. It's the most grown up, in my opinion, the most well rounded, and in my opinion, the most enjoyed. It has the original's DNA, obviously, but it also takes a more mature approach. While not coming across super hyper masculine, it is just right. It is just right on being the masculine scent. Not overpowering, not overpowering. Classy and elegant without smelling old. With that, what you're gonna get, guys, is Blue de Chanel Parfum. Now, this is the most recent release of the Blue de Chanel line, so it is pretty hard to find discounters, but it is well worth but if you were to save for one fragrance, this one be well worth that pickup. So in the opening, think sparkly citrus. Now some people say that this is long lasting. I'm not sure what they're talking about. This one for me lasts a long time. Yes, it does tend to sit closer to the skin, but it lasts a long time. With this, I typically get anywhere from six to eight hours, leading more towards eight hours, especially if you're in a closed-in environment. Again, you guys, that is Blue de Chanel Parfum. Now this list would not be complete without this fragrance here. It is undeniably one of the best Best office fragrances that, that are out there on the market. It's clean, it's soapy. It has a bit more depth than I want for an office setting, but I can just spray less and it works a hundred times better than spraying more of this fragrance. There's one fragrance that I would recommend spraying less, the, the fact that less is better. This one, undeniably, is just that. It's gonna be Prada Loam for Prada. This is the original here. This is a sweet, inviting, sexy, if you want that for an office setting, fragrance. It just works so well. It's, it's such a professional, clean scent, but it is a bit heavy. This one that when they say less is more, this is that. Now I don't mean spray and walk through because that's not gonna do anything, but like just two sprays instead of 10. And it'll be good, it'll be good to go with this one. You guys, that is Prada Loam. Now, lastly but not least, it might not be your favorite, but it is mine. It works well, it's loud, it's, it gives a fantastic first impression when you walk into a room. It takes the power that is known, the this strength of a well-known fragrance, and brings a bit of freshness and a bit of this cleanness that makes it more suitable for the office. So you get the clean nuances with it, in addition to the powerful, this strength behind that fragrance. With that, where you're gonna get is gonna be Aventus Cologne. Such a fantastic work fragrance. Which I've been letting mine kind of macerate for a little while, and it's slowly starting to turn them to get that yellow look to it. Which I'm super excited to give this one some more wear this summer. And guys, again, that is Creed Aventus Cologne. And guys, like I said, at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna give this more wear. This is Tommy, uh, now them, it's more wear. And I'll be bringing you guys a video on this very shortly. I know I have a few fragrances that I've done my first impression of and, and want to bring them to you, but this is one that I feel like is gonna be safe for my office, one that I feel like that no one's really complaining about. Some of the ones like Unisex for Men is a bit too loud for where I work, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that. I might just put on one spray, but even then, I don't know how it's gonna work necessarily. But guys, that is that. I hope you found this video informative or entertaining and kind of give you more, some more insight on some of these fragrances. But guys, like I always say, keep it gent, love your scent, and well, okay. AirPod flex, and I'll see you all next time.